Hello again. Now then, today we are saying goodbye to an old trusted friend. And no, I'm not going to a funeral. And the old trusted friend I am referring to is this white article here. Because very shortly we will be on our way into Chiang Rai City to pick up a brand new car. The Honda there has now done about 140,000 kilometres. Mechanically it is excellent but a bit like me it's showing signs of its age. So we thought it's about time we made a change. So I checked my piggy bank and just about got enough money to buy a new car I think so we will as I say be on our way very shortly into Chiang Rai and what do you think we've bought? Well you'll find out soon when we get there. Catch you later. Well, that's Honda and Isuzu over there to the left, so obviously we're not going to either of those. And Toyota over there on the right, so it's not that one either. Despite the fact that I've previously owned three Toyota cars when I was living in England. So is it one of these then? What do you think? Do you think I bought one of these? <laughs> No. That one's electric. Bye bye, old car. Okay, so now you know it's a Mazda. But which one? You have to wait a bit longer. definitely not that one. I have not bought a truck. So the two guys sat down there are the ones who were buying the Honda. So to meet up with us here we'll do it all in one place then. Just say goodbye. I think we got a decent price for it considering its age and its mileage. It's been a good old beast. So here we go. This place is a death trap when it's wet. Slipping all over the place. So here we go. How can I drive with that on? I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> ah. It is a CX30 in platinum quartz. Don't like it, man. No. Come on, have another one. <laughs> the red number plates are temporary. Uh, Angie actually owns them, haven't for years. But uh, we have to wait for the land transport office to issue new registration. When I bought my Kawasaki bike, it took about three days, but it can take. Two, three, four weeks sometimes, so we'll see what Chiang Rai's like. Right, they have a reasonable service place here. Angie's getting in depth instructions about all the whistles and bells in there. Oh, 
I think that's the about half it's in there. Gasoline. Which is more than Kawasaki gave me when I bought my motorbike. I've got that symbol full, enough to get to the nearest petrol station. Our first choice colour was actually this one. And, um, given my football club loyalties, I'm not a great fan of red normally, but for cars, uh, statistics show that red cars are involved in less accidents than the other colour because of their high visibility. Well, bleh, high visibility. But they didn't have this colour in stock. Plus you have to pay extra. I've been a Yorkshireman, I don't like paying extra. So, I'm now quite happy with the colour we've got. I think Andy's going to be suffering information overload. We've been at it nearly half an hour. And she's going to forget most of it. I'm a great believer is you learn things by doing, not by being told what to do. Ties do like to make a big show, very over the top, uh, when they're selling cars, bikes, whatever. So here's a few pictures that they took for us. Not my photography, I hasten to add. And I will make a proper video about the car when I've sorted out what does what. It's all very complicated in there, a bit of learning to do. So I'll see you later in the next video. Thanks for watching.